Oh, hey, I'm Jackie from So Bright Home, formerly So Bright Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to use a pool noodle to make a giant floatable gecko. You know those pony bead geckos or salamanders that you made as a kid in the 90s? We're bringing it back, we're making it bigger and better. Keep watching and I'm going to show you how you can make one too. I'm just using a knife to cut the pony beads and I do want them all to be a similar size. I'm cutting on plywood so it's okay that the knife is going in. It probably would have been easier if I actually measure mine, but they ended up to be about two and a quarter to two and a half inches each. If I were to make this again, I would make them all two and a half inches length. This is the gecko pattern that I followed, and in order to make it, I bought five pool noodles because I wanted a different color for the eyes. But if I made the eyes one of the same colors of the other ones, I could have easily done it with four pool noodles. Just cut two blue pieces for the eyes, but you will notice the blue pool noodle, noodle is a little bit bigger than the other ones. Um, I didn't do that on purpose. It's just because I wanted the color blue and that's the sizes that they had. I would recommend going with larger pool noodles to have more flotation. I used this rope that was 50 feet and I had no idea how much I would use. I measured it at the end and I used a total of 28 feet. So I would recommend cutting your rope to around 35 feet and then you can trim the excess. I'm gonna pull this all the way through to the middle. I know this first part is a little bit fast, but I slow it down in a second here and show you in more detail. But basically, you just feed the rope through on one side, and then on the other side of the rope, you feed it through the other way so the rope crosses through the beads in the middle. I had this sheet of paper printed beside me, and I just followed the pattern all the way through. You can see how this would have been a little bit easier if my rope wasn't quite so long.
I trimmed the rope first and then I tied the knot after um, and then trimmed the rope again. But I did leave quite a bit of a tail so that you can grab it when it's in the water. And then I just used a lighter to melt the ends of the rope so it wouldn't fray. I've got a gecko. <laughs> this is awesome. It was a little bit chilly this day when we went to try it out, but we did discover that it floats and I think if you used even larger pool noodles, it would float even more for our bigger kids. I'd love it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're into DIY and crafts too, and we'll see you in the next video.